when you're pursuing something greater that isn't particularly clear. Like you know what you want to do, but you don't really know how you're going to get to your end destination. And because you're doing something out of the norm, people will actually go out of their way to tell you that, you know, what you're going to do or what you're trying to do isn't working. It's not going to work. You're being stupid. You're going to do whatever, right? I've been personally told by people who are close to me, family members, that at the rate I'm going, I'll be broke until I'm 40, that I won't be able to provide for my kids, that I'm going to be a financial burden for my parents for like the rest of my life. You're probably thinking, why is this person smiling? I'm just saying it with a smile because I know that it's not going to be the case. I know that a few years down the line, I'm not going to brag, but I just know a few years down the line, people wish that they didn't say those things to me. But anyways, that's just a side note because I realized that I was smiling as I said those things. I was like, why am I smiling? And I think it's just part of my personality. I like being, I like someone telling me something I'm doing isn't going to work so that I can just do it and prove them wrong. I'll never be like, ah, I told you so, I told you so. I'll always just let my results speak for themselves. But anyways, on this journey of chasing something that other people have never seen, right? You're going to receive a lot of comments. And one comment is not going to affect you. But after like 20, 30, 40, hundreds of the same type of comments, eventually one is going to cause a crack and cause you to doubt yourself, cause you to think like, you know what, are they right? Am I just doing something that's pointless, that is never going to work? You'll start asking yourself, why did I even do this? Why can't I just be normal? Why can't I just do what everyone else is doing? Why can't I just, you know, let me just, in my case, I'll just be like, no, let me just drop all of this, stop recording videos, go to uni, get a job in a bank. Because you know what the funny thing is? This may sound egotistical, but I know for a fact that if I go down like the traditional route, I know for a fact that 10, 20 years from now, I'll be top of the sound company. I'll be CEO of someone else's company because I know maybe I'm just delusional, but I know for a fact that I'll be able to do it. But what I'm doing right now, I don't know if I'll be able to do it. And like, that's what brings the excitement to my life. Because imagine if you live life knowing that everything you were doing, you were going to succeed, that you were definitely going to get the result that you wanted. Nothing would be exciting. Do you ever get excited opening a can of, I don't know, a can of tomatoes? No, because you know that you're going to get the tomatoes out of it. You get excited when it's like, I don't know. I don't know. That was a bad analogy. I'm normally an analogy king, but I had to I'll yield. I'll yield. That was a bad analogy. <laughs> so essentially, once these comments cause a crack in your mindset, you're entering a mental battle. And in that battle, it's your best version of yourself. The self that hasn't been created yet, but lies within you. That version of you is fighting the version of you that loves mediocrity and comfort. That loves the easy route. And I'm grateful to say that I've beaten and I've won every one of these mental battles. Because if I had a one, if I lost one of those mental battles, I wouldn't be here with you. I don't mean I would be off this planet. I just mean I would be doing something else. I would have given up. You're going to go through your mental battles. In fact, you're probably going through one now because why would you click on a video about mental battles if you're not going through one? If you just clicked on this video just to watch, then you're wasting your time. But anyways, if you're going through a mental battle, step zero and step zero, because like I think you have to do this throughout every situation you're going through, is just sit, feel your emotions, and just observe your thoughts. Don't try to change your thoughts. Don't get angry at yourself for thinking doubtful thoughts. Just observe your thoughts and emotions. The reason why this is important is it will show you exactly where you are and what you need to overcome, the exact thoughts that you need to break down to prove to yourself that it isn't true. So let's say you're going through a period and it's like the main thoughts that's causing you doubt is like, I don't know if I'm going to make money. If you don't sit down, observe that thought, you might think that I, I need a date, I need a girlfriend, that's why I'm sad. When no, you just need to overcome the thought that I won't make money. And I'm not going to lie, this is probably the toughest part of this process. Because as men, we were never like taught how to like process our emotions and sit with them. We're always taught to suppress them. And you know what? There is a time to just suppress your emotions and go full on. But most times, 99% of the time, it is not that time to suppress your emotions and just soldier on. So that's step zero. Step one is remind yourself of the progress you've made. And you may be thinking, I haven't made any progress. But if you've been working at something... For more than like a month, you've made progress. It may not be material progress and an increase of income or um, you've gotten a certain result. But there has been progress made on small things like your character, on the way you think, on the way you handle these micro situations. So think about all the progress that you've made 
and think about the compound effect. And though that progress you've made right now may be small, if you carry on going, it's going to get exponentially bigger and bigger and bigger until everyone in the world will be able to see what you've done. The second step is to renew your vision in your mind. See, a lot of the time we face doubt, a lot of the time we contemplate giving up, it's when our vision is cloudy in our head. Every time when my vision has been the clearest, Nothing's changed externally. I'll still get those comments of like, ah, you're going to subject your kids to poverty. You're going to do this, this, and this. It's not going to work. But because the vision is clear in my head, I am motivated. I'm enthusiastic. Even on the days where I don't feel like doing it, I muster up the enthusiasm. I muster up the strength to get out of my bed. In the Bible, it says that where there is no vision, the people will perish. And that is the same for you. Where you have no vision, you will perish. Because if you have no vision, you will let the negative comments of other people dominate your mind. Instead of your vision dominating your mind as it should, it will be the comments of other people. It will be the doubts that they've instilled in your head. And when your mind is full of doubt, of disbelief, you will surely perish. So it's important that you continually renew your vision. The way I do this is like, I just write down the type of life that I'd want. And whenever I'm feeling down, whenever I don't believe, whenever they, I have doubts in my head, I just open up my computer and read the file where I wrote this vision. I reread some of my old journal entries. I look at my goals and I think about what life would be like once I achieve them. And it's like that just gives me all the motivation, all the enthusiasm that I need. Now, the third step is to talk positively about your future, even if you don't believe it. And you know what? The truth is when you're going through these mental battles, you're not going to believe it. But just talk positively about the future. Just... Even if your brain is telling you it's not going to work, you manually say to yourself, it's going to work out. I will succeed. I will find a way. I will get what I want. Because eventually, right, if you tell yourself a lie a hundred times, eventually you're going to believe it. And the nice thing about lying to yourself in a positive way, it's not even lying to yourself, just telling yourself that things are going to work out, that you're going to improve, that things are going to get better is that when you have this belief, it's not going to hurt you. It will only help you achieve what you want to achieve. Think about it this way. Each time you tell yourself like a positive thought that you don't quite believe, you're planting a seed. Because look at when you plant seeds in the ground, right? It's not like the ground just vol voluntarily receives those seeds. You have to dig it up. And let's say the ground was a human being, right? Imagine if someone was digging up like you the soil of like let's say the soil is your skin. Imagine someone was like digging up your skin and implanting a seed. You'd be resisting it, right? So the same way that the ground resists you digging and planting seeds, how you have to exert force to plant is the same way that your mind will kind of resist some positive thoughts. But like with each positive thought that you manually input against all the inertia of the negativity in your mind it's like you're planting a seed and fair enough you won't see the results of that planted seed right then and there you probably won't see it for the next week but eventually right you're gonna have this forest of positivity in your mind think about it you're gonna build your own amazon rainforest of positivity see i haven't built that rainforest yet i have like like look outside i'm gonna show you what it looks like outside so look there's like trees out there. This is what like my mind looks like. There's just trees, trees, just growing, growing. But soon, right, I'm going to have my rainforest. Soon, everything is going to work out. And when I do have that rainforest car, I best believe that things are going to be superb. <laughs> and now the last thing that you do is pray. Whenever I'm going through mental battles or when I'm going through good times, when I remember, I pray. Because my strength comes from God. Without God, I wouldn't be half the man that I am today. I always do this at the end of my videos, but for those of you who are starting your self-improvement direction and are lacking direction, you don't know where to start, you don't know how to progress, and you'd like to talk to someone who's further along down the road but close enough to you, click the first link in the description. It will take you to this calendar where you can book a time slot to talk to me and have a one-on-one -on -one session. I can personally help you through your problems. I look forward to talking to you and... I'll see you guys for the video tomorrow. Cheers, guys.